Tommy, there was yes. a request. We forgot the last time. So. All oh, right. Okay. Okay. For Crow. For Crow. This is for you. It's my terrible Jack Black impression. I'm convinced. Mario, Luigi, and the Donkey Kong too. A thousand troops of Koopas couldn't keep me from you. Peaches, 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 peaches. Oh, 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 yeah. Peaches, oh, peaches. I'm going to love you till the very end. Ah. And we wonder why no one watches this. <laughs> <laughs> that was very good. That you're uh, qu- quite a singer. Thanks. You, uh, you have uh, you, you've quite a... Um, <laughs> What's that? The rock raspy voice. You could, yeah, you should do something with that. Maybe go back 20 years and have a music yeah, career. Go back singing, yeah, yeah, yeah. They used to call Aga Yoko because she broke up the band. Right, that's, you know. It's, it's like after watching um, the uh, the Let It Be stuff on Disney, they recently, um, it's not really Yoko who breaks up the band at all, you know. <laughs> it's, it's like, it's more John Lennon, Paul McCartney, George Harrison and Ringo Starr who broke up the yeah. band. Probably, yeah. Uh, Probably mostly John, though, was it? John and Paul. They fell out, but, yeah, didn't they? Well, they all fell out. George Lett leaves the band in the middle of it uh, and then comes yeah. back. But, I mean, you have to you have to remember, John was on the heroin at the time. Things probably weren't as clear. <laughs> also, they were 26, 27 and had just recorded the White Album like two weeks before that. And about three weeks after the finish Let It Be, they record Abbey Road. I mean, that's, that's quite mad. impressive. <laughs> it's insane, isn't it? Oh, I was watching the, what do you call it last night? The Rocket Man. Um, All right, uh, yeah, yeah. Did you see? It's good. I seen it a good while ago. Yeah, I enjoyed it. I have to say. <laughs> and yeah. Uh, yeah, there's a scene in it where like he's he, he catches his manager getting a, a serviced in the garden <laughs> by the gardener, and uh, <laughs> as, you, as you do, they have a big fight, and he's like, "Just get back in the studio and record some songs." And he's like, "I was only in there a few weeks ago." He's like, "Get get back in and write more more songs." Because that's the way it was back then. Like, yeah, just yeah, get yeah, yeah. Do an album every every like What's now that? it's. Now it's three years. Yeah, it's, at, le- it's, at least it's, minimum. It's, yeah, yeah. It's, it's like a year to write and record, a year for the for the album, like promo and stuff, and then there's the year of touring. So it's every every three years kind of thing. But like back then it was like, no nah, man, you need to put out one every year or yeah, even faster. Yeah, four signals, four signals, four singles, two albums a year or something now. But the, the thing that's happening now is that the album is, is, is on its way out. That's that's the next casualty of music streaming. <clears throat> Excuse me, it's just going to be all singles. That That's... It, because there's more impact because if you drop an album you know there's like a, a week or you know if you're no one not if you're metallic it's slightly different but if you there's like a, a, an impact for about a week but if you mm. drop 12 singles <laughs> you, you know a once a month you're, yeah, you're yeah, getting yeah, yeah, yeah. so that seems to be what people are doing it'll yeah. be like uh, trying to explain to someone what the b-side of an album is or some of these things like I mean the, the people say that but like everyone knows what the b-side of an album is because like we're not born in a vacuum it's like going <clears> how do you know what the Beatles are they were from the 60s Mm. Because I mean, people read. Do you people. listen to any albums anymore? I don't really listen to albums. It's mostly playlists, but it's like playlists of the bands I like. You know? Yeah, no, yeah, I do. Li- I do listen to albums, like, but it's 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 very spe- specific albums. I I, mm. I, I play li- playlists are definitely new music. I listen to lots of playlists and stuff, but like, yeah. I listen to you know the same albums that I've been listening to for thirty years or whatever. Yeah, yeah. or I'll pick like. Or like if I if I had a nice playlist yesterday, I'll go to that, pick a random song, and then go to like song radio. So it's another kind of playlist based on that one. Yeah, I Which never used the radio because I have no I idea know. who I'm listening to. Have yeah, a clue yeah. what bands I'm listening to. But that, that was know. a friend of mine who teaches guitar, and I was, he's he's really annoyed by that. He, he says that people come in and they want to learn these songs, but they've no idea what the song is, what the album is, because it's 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 exactly for that reason because it's just <laughs> the thing. And he's he's like he's got all oh, the kids these days. And I was going, like, oh God, if you like a song, you at least just like. Press rewind a few times to take down the name. Well, but my take is how did they know? Like, have they just heard it once? Like, how do you know to play it again? Surely, I think there was possibly slight exaggerating going on, but uh, surely, if you like a song, you can uh, work out Uh, how to play it again. No, come on, are you saying that an Irish musician was exaggerating? I'm (laughs) an Irish person in general. An Irish person, exactly. Hyperbolic musician. Exaggerating. And also a middle-aged Irish uh, musician who's turning into his father. Yeah, yeah, probably. Yeah, so, so, There's probably something in that. Um, I like that uh, meme you put up yesterday. I think that does explain the whole psyche of the Irish soul. Which is <laughs> yeah, yeah. What was it? Um, uh, it was like... Uh, it Where's my Twitter? It was, it was essentially, ex. leave me all alone. 
Uh, or let everyone leave me alone and then the next thing is why am I so alone? <laughs> yeah, I got it from there was this there was a thing on, on the Ireland Reddit thing yesterday they did this survey of the of, of loneliness throughout the European Union <laughs> oh, nice. and the funny thing on the map was like Britain wasn't there you know so nice. that's the wow. first funny thing about it and the second thing was that like Ireland is by far like by far like way lonelier than any other uh, country in Europe you know so it's like I mean that's what happens when you follow the American dollar and, 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 and go for that Capitalistic lifestyle of, and the more more than just that we're a peripheral island and all that we're not part of the mainland. It's 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 deemed to be more than that. That it's not just literally a location thing that we oh, are. Yeah, yeah, no, it's just mm. people are, are generally lonely. But like, I mean, I suppose f- for me, it's just the lifestyle of Irish people that the crap that they way that they working on. You know, people living in Wexford and Waterford, driving to Dublin to work like that's four hours a day of your life. Mm. Per day, that's it's insane. No wonder you're lonely. You're in your car listening to podcasts. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you yeah. loser. <laughs> yeah, there's an interesting thing I've been thinking about recently. <laughs> yeah, you podcast listener loser. Yeah, we we know you're there listening to us. You loser. <laughs> we know you're there listening to other better podcasts than this one. Because um, Vanessa, my wife, as you know, but the listeners mind, um, she was saying that she likes or sometimes misses having the TV on, and not because of you know, like not talking about Netflix or anything, it's actual TV where it's separated into, um, you know, ad breaks and then there's a presenter and all that. And it's something about it that seems more real than, you know, a Netflix thing. And I think it's part of that. It's a kind of a loneliness thing that there's this kind of false connection thing that you get through the, through the telly that you're not getting <clears> with just Netflix other than their occasional, are you still watching? You know, that you have some Channel 4 guy going, oh, you know, and up next is, uh, you know, whatever, let's bake mm. a cake or... Uh, and I, I, was, I was looking through TikTok as well. I was going, I think that's exactly the same thing people are getting from TikTok. It's this false sense of connection that you're checking in on real people or something, you know, that it's, you know, and you're flicking through and, oh, how's, how's Garen doing today? How's, you know, or whatever it is. Uh, so it's obviously there's a, there's a deep need for this connection, but it's a connection at a fucking distance. Yeah, <laughs> it's, not, it's not a yeah, proper yeah. connection at all. Yeah. But then again, I mean, here's the thing, though. It's like in... I don't know, maybe in like 20, 30, 40 years, it will have become a proper connection because for us, it's not. But like, it might be in a few years time. It's like, you know, when, when cinema came out first, people were saying this is going to do terrible damage to people's head and didn't. They said the same with newspapers. Or what, yeah. when, when newspapers became a, a proper mass medium rather yeah. than just fucking it's the same leaflet, books. leafless to join the local yeah. communist thing in Birmingham yeah. or whatever like it was. Yeah. And um, England, obviously, not America. You guys hate the commies. And... Um, Stuff like that, but but, also, but um, women but reading cinema, sorry, <laughs> sorry, cinema, cinema, radio, and and and, and newspapers. Mm-hmm. And sure, when the internet started, it was like that as well. So like, maybe it will be a proper thing. It's just for us and our generation. We're like, what the fuck? Well, I, I mean, but it's, I also, but, it's also it's also we but, um, we don't have a relationship with it, this stuff at all. So, yeah, me and uh, you at all. So I mean, of course, yeah. yeah so to say that, um, you know, that, like, no, I, mean, I, mean, I mean, I'm just mean, I'm just mean in, in in terms of just just social media. Yeah, TikTok yeah, yeah. and Twitter and all. Mm. Like, I mean, I don't think they are good for you, but maybe in, in years to come, it will be that it is seen as a proper. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm just being. being well, a I think maybe not proper. Like, no, no, it'll be it'll be normalized <laughs> in the way yeah you know, all of these things are normalized and it'll just become part of the thing. It's like mm. how different the world changed because of photographs, and yet it's like so ubiquitous now that we don't even think about it you know it's only then yeah. when it moves into oh there are photographs that mightn't be real you know with Photoshop 20 years ago and now AI you kind of acknowledge the, the whole idea of photographs getting yeah. on video or whatever I mean look I could be completely wrong and I'm hope, I am hope I hope that your man what's his name Adam Curtis is right and that we'll just look at the internet as some kind of passe thing in 20 or 30 years it'll be like the way we think of the yellow pages or something that'd be great yeah if yeah the internet yeah. just was this encyclopedia and address book That'd be well, cool. by, by all accounts, like the a lot of social media, the, like the the current generation or that one coming up, don't use it at all. It's all boomers, middle aged people, and uh, you know the tail end of millennials that are just using yeah. social media. You know, apart from your man, your man Musk is going to go fucking charging now for Twitter, so that's the end of it. You know? he, he like he really wants Twitter to fail, doesn't he? Like, I mean, that's that's the, every time he, he's going, well, what can I do here to make this worse and uh, makes it yeah. worse? And then I don't know. You kind of look at him and you wonder, like, what? What's wrong with you? <laughs> I don't what is wrong? Do you know, well, I don't he's mean like, a, well, he's a, a Russian I agent I for a start. I don't know, people are going to be like, oh, I don't mean like he has something. I mean like, you can have something 
and still be a complete arsehole. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you know? yeah. But so I'm like, well, what? How, what the fuck happened to you, man? <laughs> you know, like. Well, I mean, the 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 the, the theory, or one of the conspiracy theories, is that Russian have Russia have some sort of uh, hold on him, and that it's he's an agent. That's one thing. Which I mean, why not? It's plausible. He seems to have done various things that seems to align with that. But uh, yeah, it's like there's a load of kind of people in power that are, are under the thumb due to possibly some island <laughs> that, uh, 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 <laughs> that, okay, that uh, yeah. was in the news that had been forgotten about and that uh, someone that might have sense. the information of. Anyway, who knows? Tweet. It was uh, yeah. the Irish the Irish dilemma is, um, <laughs> so people think, the reason why, why our Irish people are lonely, the Irish dilemma is you have a thought in your head, would these gobshits ever fuck off and give me some peace and quiet? Like We can all understand that one. But then five minutes later, it's, well, this is no crack, I'm lonely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, true story. It's great. Yeah, that's why we it's drink so It's bang on, like, it's bang on. You know? we, we all want to be alone, but then when we're alone, we're like, ah, crap, I miss people. You know? Yeah, I have a thing, though, that I am... Um... I, there's definitely a difference between being alone and being lonely. Well, I mean, I, I don't die of a thing. That's like <laughs> some other people have mentioned that too. But um, I've definitely become more aware of that where I do like being alone. Um, but that is a separate thing from feeling lonely. And I think lonely is probably the wrong one. And I, I feel, because there was a question I asked yesterday, like, do you feel isolated or connected because of what you do, you know? And uh, I think there's obviously a balance between the two of them. But it's alone in a sense, I think... I like because it's the, it's a, there's a choice in it in some way, right? Like I could be around loads of people all the time. I mean, it's not hard to be around people, um, but it's kind of what the oh, hell is Tommy? It no, is. that's not what it is. It is but <laughs> what I mean is, it's not physically hard to be around people. You just yeah, like yeah, it's, yeah, it's yeah, actually yeah. Uh, if you, anyone ever followed my vlog, you could see that how uh, uh, impossible it was for me to find anywhere in this country where there wasn't people. <laughs> you know, <laughs> go up a mountain in the middle of nowhere, people still there, still people. Um, and so it's, you know, to be alone, I think there's something, in, you know, in the solitude and stuff like that. But then there's the, the loneliness of, of not feeling the, the, the connection and stuff. And I do feel that an awful lot, that it's kind of, you know, there's a sense of, I don't know, looking for something that I, I think ultimately doesn't really exist. It's, a, it's like trying to go home or something like that. You know what I mean? It's well, like I think trying to find your people or something. And, you know, well, maybe. Carl Jung, Carl Jung defined mm -hmm. loneliness as, as, as not being able to share your or your your inner your inner world with other people or something like that. I think that's mm. the word something to that effect anyway. That, that's exactly what it is. I mean, you can have tons of people around you, but if no one's into the same things as you're into, then you're going to be lonely, you know? Or even that's, worse that they are into the same things as you or something, but you're still not connecting in some way, I get it. you know? Or there's like, it's like, I don't know, you, you don't see you're at a football match or something and you're big into football or whatever. And then you just go, well, like I, I, all these people here love football. I love football. I love this team. Why do I still feel separate? You know, what? What is? why am I not connecting here or something like that? Is there something in that I don't really... I think because I'm looking for something that isn't resolved by that situation mm. or something. I don't really yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's an interesting... Well, it's some, some other issue then. It's not... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, 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 that thing is like trying to, um, I don't know, go home again. I think it's the closest I can think of when it's like, <clears> when you're home, that doesn't exist anymore. There's a great, you know, uh, is it Limmy? Is that his name? The comedian? No, oh, the Scottish guy, yeah. Yeah, and he's just saying, and I don't particularly like him. Like, I mean, he's hit or miss for me, but I don't dislike him or whatever. But he has this one where he's going in and he holds up a photo into the tourist office and goes, uh, how do I get to this place? Do you, have you ever seen this one? No. And she goes, oh, right, so what you do, that's Plymouth, whatever it is. He says, you have to get the train and then you have to get, so he goes, no, 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 no. What, I, it's like I'm 16 and my friends are there and it's easy. We're kicking around. We're having the, having the crack. We're having, you know, we're up to no good, but it's, you know, it's, it's just innocent. It's the whole thing or whatever. And he's going on the whole story. And, and, and he goes, how do I get there? And she goes, well, you can't get there. Then he goes, all right. <laughs> Return ticket to Plymouth, please. <laughs> but it's like, yeah, it's that. It's the, it's, it's the nostalgia thing or a sense of... Um, let me see if I can describe it. It's not necessarily because it's 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 like nostalgia for something that never actually happened in, in one just, way. It's, 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 yeah. uh, I, I, not, not idealism. That's Bernardo Castro. Um, yeah. yeah, it's searching for this I, I, idyllic setting thing. So you've you've yeah. set the bar too high for yourself, kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah, it, I mean, in some ways, I mean, that's not the, the whole thing. Sometimes I'm lonely just because you know sitting around. <laughs> people around me to who I actually physically can't talk to or whatever but uh, yeah it's an interesting one because it's like you could just so easily just go you know see it as that and then but it's like I mean it's a whole whole divergent thing all around it and it's like it's a bigger landscape and you have to sit yourself in yeah and, uh, yeah, I, 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 I go through bouts of it as well every now and again when I when I don't see the the lads from my 
the lads from the city I used to live in. Like when I don't see them for a while, I start getting like, Jesus, I need to go out. Even though like I've more or less stopped drinking uh, and I'm not going out at all. It's kind of like, yeah, I, I, ju- I just need some, I need men. I need some fucking men. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm yeah, it's like the, the touchstone. Or I, the, I need the, men, yeah. <laughs> you know. Yeah. The funny Cause, thing. Because like, it's just, it's just the excuse just to talk crap and to joke about crap and that every every conversation doesn't have to have a, an end point or a goal kind of thing. Because, you know, mm. like, you know yourself, when you're married, it's kind of like every conversation is like, basically, you know, what chores are you doing this week? Or can you do this? Can you do that? Let's do this, do this, let's do that. Whereas, like, with your, with your mates, it's like, ah, I saw this great video about an elephant farting the other day. You know, <laughs> yeah, it's like, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, none of those things. You know, you're just allowed to be, it's, it's play kind of thing, you know? Yeah. There's a lot of research gone into gone into like why like you really need play as you're growing old because just for stuff like Alzheimer's and things like that. And that like no, that in the play. sense of novelty, is it like or in the sense of actual game game playing? Okay, it can be anything. It can be like from from board games to fucking wrestling to to just fucking having to doing drawing or to be messing around and stuff like that. Anything at all. Anything that's kind of doesn't have a kind of goal. It's just doing something. For the hell of doing it. For the play for you the know? sake of play. Yeah. yeah. And uh, that's what I see hanging out with my mates as because there's no, um, there's no aim to it. It's just, yeah, no agenda. Lads, it's just having fun. a crack, like, you yeah. know. Um, I finished the, the, the Eaters. This is relevant. I'm not massively jumping on a tangent. The Eaters. The Eaters. The Eaters. The Thirty Eaters. The Eaters. Um, it's actually pronounced Bahubu. The thirty Bahubus in the uh, in Opium. <laughs> um, and one of them, like, remember the one you had, and it was quite emotional and stuff. And it was about your granddad and stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, so I had a, a, a not I, my granddad didn't turn up, but I had a similar, fairly emotional one. It's the one I put up yesterday. Um, uh, it's and it, it was kind of around the, the loneliness type thing. It was really fucking sad. It was like there was a whole preamble up to it, but it, there was this bit where I ended up that I, I was like. Um, there's this kind of father figure there, and then there was this uh, a mother figure there, and it was like there were there were um like my spirit parents or something like that, you know, like some some sort of greater thing, and um and they were, they were hugging me, and it was like really it was like there was some sort of goodbye, and that the father saying to me, "This is just the way, this is how it works, this is what it is," and then I was walking through um the grass with the the mother figure, whatever, and she was holding my hand, and it was like this very happy, playful kind of thing, and then it was kind of flickered in and out of I was being dragged in through some mud by a soldier and I was dead and I was being pulled through um, and I was come back and forth between this happy thing of being with my mother in, in this field of grass and innocent time or whatever and then I was put on the back of a, of a van and kind of driven off into you know as a soldier uh, the dead soldier loaded dead bodies whatever and then they pulled back and it was me as a child with this mother and father figure and it was like um, I had to go now on my own because I assumed it was because, you know, I'd go into the, the physical life or my next life or whatever. So that was the end of the, the uh, my last life. And it, this was, you know, the, the moments between it. And it was like really sad and that the mother didn't want to let me go. She was trying to be very brave and, you know, but, but, but I was holding, I had to go in on my own into the light and stuff like that. Jesus, it was heartbreaking. Like, it was just like, fucking hell. And I was like, after that, I was sitting there for, I, I stopped the recording. Because at the end of it, I'm like, like, I'm proper crying at the end of it. I just was crying for about five minutes at the end of it. It was just like so gut-wrenching. And then, no, go on. I was like, right. Back to work then, I suppose. <laughs> you know, but it's just like, holy fuck, I, I sitting down having in this um, journey and experience, you know, and uh, just like sitting there li- literally Huh. Dictating what your, so, your, so, so your voice. So she she she's kind of guiding you between the worlds. Well, it was like the, the between. So at the, while while I was dying, say I was having this opportunity where I could talk to divinity or my parents or whatever they were represented. But it was definitely male and female. One mm-hmm. was like a kind of Gal- Gandalfy type, wizardy old, you know, wise man type thing, and she was more young, red haired, almost witchy, but like a fairy kind of, you know, like um. The mother, rather than the maiden or the crone, you know that that, that, that or something like like that, and it was like that they had this brief time between where my ass life had ended and this and a new life begins that we could be together, but that I uh-huh. that, but it, but you had to I had to go off on my own and leave them behind to, to go into to, you know essentially go into the light on what whatever happened next, but it was very much like I was a child, and mm. you know, wow, that's a mad experience. Mm. 
So I mean, uh, yeah. So it's like so that, that's what I'm talking to bring about the, the the loneliness thing or whatever. It's that mm. having to, having to do this on your own. You know, ultimately you're on your own. Like even if you have all the best friends in the world, all the best people, all the connection, you're still ultimately oh, yeah. doing this on your own. And it's that kind of sense of I don't think loneliness is not a correct thing. Thing maybe it is, but it's that sense of being alone and in, uh, in this that ultimately. Yeah, there's a in, in, inadequacy, isn't there? It's yeah. that like this is this is this is too big for me. I I I, I what the fuck? I, yeah. I don't know what I'm doing. I, I can't do this. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I, I'm alone. Yeah. You know, like yeah, even even yeah, even, I remember I was reading something. Even if you're born a twin, you're still born alone. Yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah, you yeah, yeah. Die alone. Maybe yeah, we well, alone. Yeah, you know? we go to you know, you're the person. Don't, you know, before you go to sleep, you're just, you know, that, mm. that's you, all these things. So it's kind of, that's, I think that's what I was trying to point, point out with, with the, the kind of the difference between being alone and being lonely or whatever this third yeah, word yeah, yeah, is, yeah. this yeah. thing. Like, um, oh, yeah, there's a huge difference. Someone, I remember posted to someone on Reddit yesterday, they were asking for some advice on, uh, oh, some mental health thing. So I left some advice and then I was like, you know what, just get, get out and go walk and take your, 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 your What's the sun, sun vitamin? I looked it up. B twelve vitamin D. Vitamin D. Or D. Yeah. Take the vitamin D and get out and go walking, and you know, alone time is good. And then got tons of upvotes or whatever. But then someone left the thing. Well, do you think being alone is is helpful in this situation? So I, I just wrote back. Well, it depends on the person, and that's a shitty answer. Yeah. But it does. Like there's yeah, times yeah. when you hate being alone, and there's other times when it's like, I've often done it. <laughs> you know, I'm just like, yeah. Look, I have to go. I'm, I'm, I'll be back in an hour or two. I just, I just need to be out of here. Yeah, you yeah, know, because yeah, yeah. you do. You need to get your head together, because otherwise you're going to snap. Because the world is getting, the world is getting too, uh, too heavy for you, or whatever. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and I, it's like it's. I completely understand that because it's something I have to do, and I, I for the last while I haven't been able to do because I didn't have had the time to go to forests, or whatever. But now I've managed to clear my Tuesday nights. And I'm, that's what I'm doing. Every Tuesday night, I'm going to the forest to walk around for a couple of hours. And it'll be great now because it'll be getting dark. <laughs> it's the first time I'll really be <clears throat> able to spend some time uh, uh, in the darkness of the forest. So I'll be a bit terrified myself. That'd be great. Yeah, there'll uh, be animals, there'll be badgers and hedgehogs. Oh, and it's brilliant now because uh, every time I go, when I do get to go to the forest that I usually go to, always uh, the deer come up. And, uh, you know, it's their. their uh, they're getting, I would like to say they're getting used to me, but they're, 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 I'm sure they're well semi-domesticated being that, it, you know, so many humans. Well, it's more me probably that's not as scared. Them. But I should mm-hmm. work out, will a deer attack you? Do you know? Like, I mean, is it safe to try and befriend a deer or is it best to yeah, run away? You should, be able to, you should be able to feed them if they get if yeah. they get used to you enough, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah but they're, they're very timid and skittish, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's more, I suppose, I don't want to be annoying them because there's definitely families and stuff. You know, you see the, the wee ones and the... Mm. Oh, right, so, you know, they're probably a bit could be a bit protective, but it's, yeah, anyway, that's often tangent. More to say that, yeah, I, I certainly like part of dealing with being alone, the loneliness, the world, all that stuff is sometimes spending a lot of time on my own purposely, you know. And what I do when I'm doing that is I'll just start talking like to the trees, to the the the, the, the universe, whoever it's usually, you know, the spirit of the forest, whatever it is, and just by the end of it, yeah, I always come out feeling. Tommy's in a forest and loud and all you hear is why? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> the fuck? Why? <laughs> yeah. But I often can't go in feeling very angry and come out and you know it's like there's something that Oh spe- man, trees I'm convinced yeah. they suck up negative energy oh, man, man, yeah. and they yeah. fucking love it and it makes them grow faster and taller and stronger and you just go in with a big fucking cranky head on you and you come out feeling <laughs> nine foot tall they're great yeah you know, yeah, yeah they right, it is great I've seen a thing yesterday that was talking about that uh, how trees actually grow and you know because t- the mass of a tree or whatever is just literally the carbon that they're taking that turns mm. it into the thing I was like like I, I kind of knew that but then at the same time I was like going, when you see it and it's going like that's pretty class like that's where you know it's, it's, it's in some sense a miracle that you know there's the seeds there's a bit of sunlight Take stuff in from the air, turns into this tree that knows things. <laughs> you yeah, know it t- takes pollution and turns yeah. it into something good. Like you know, mm. it's like water. Water is such a beneficial thing to us, but it's like it's you know it's, it will literally destroy everything on the planet as well. Did you see the pictures everything. of mm. of uh, Loch Ness? Or uh, yeah, Loch- yeah, yeah, that's nice and that. It's covered in like what nearly two yeah. foot of. You know, Plankton. it's wonderful to see how our Protestant brethren are treating their homeland. <laughs> it's, just, it's just been dumped, isn't it? It's just chemical dumping from factories and stuff, isn't it? 
Not as the, far as I know, yeah. Yeah, yeah I've only, only seen from it. All around yeah, so, and stuff. Yeah. yeah, it's rotten. Like there can't be a single fish left alive in the whole. It's the biggest lake in in the, in the two islands, Ireland and and Britain. And it's, and it's, it's like it's where most of the of the drinking water's coming from as well. Like it's not just oh the Lord. pretty. Yeah, pretty. Well, not most, like 20, 30 percent, like something, some significant factor. Anyway. Jesus, I think I'd be putting up some water traps around my home if that was yeah. the case. Collecting some rain. I tell you, yeah, oh. uh, I only, I don't know much about it because I literally just seen it like about half level last night on yeah. level on Facebook. Or, yeah, there's or this big thick, I don't know, yeah. inch or two. Yeah. Oh, no, I literally, yeah, well, it's like more. Like, yeah. yeah, I don't oh, remember what an inch is. That's so an inch or two to you. I have no idea what an inch is. So, you know. yeah. yeah, it's about two tons. Um, I was thinking, yeah, I was thinking the other day, I was doing that, t- I had to kill a hornet the other day and it annoyed me. So I did, because I hate killing stuff. And uh, obviously, as anyone does, but um, even if I get flies coming into the house, like I have a special plastic uh, pint glass and I get a card, yeah. trap them in oh, no, it. The, the, the spider trap. <laughs> That's a, a spider, no, spiders I just let them be, unless on, 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 on the, on the spider web gets a bit too yeah, out of control, you know, because, you know, people do judge you on that shit. Not that I should care really, but sure. Anyway, fuck it. Um, but Jed was this hornet and she wouldn't, uh, she just tried, kept trying to go in the balcony and she just wouldn't take the hint. And then we had mates down and, and my friend, she she caught it the way I catch it and she put it out. And then the fucker came back and was like, I have to kill you. I don't want to kill you. <laughs> and your man that was with me took off his belt and said, here you are, Paddy, you have one shot at this. I'm like, Fuck, because you do. You've one shot with a hornet. Otherwise, you're you're in big trouble. You know. Right. Okay. But um, you know, I got it on the second attempt because <laughs> <laughs> I missed it with the belt. And uh, oh no, no, I didn't take the belt. I I just had some paper because the belt wouldn't. Have, anyway, it didn't matter. Right. And um, yeah, I hit it the first time, and then it, it kind of came back at me, and then I, then I did this fucking perfect Joe DiMaggio fucking baseball. <laughs> <pump up. laughs> Nice. Dead as disco then and was like, fuck man, I'm so sorry I had to do that. But you know, you had your you had how many you had your chance yeah, to yeah. not be here. Do you know. Really yeah. bothered me. It's a couple of days ago now. It's like last Saturday. It's last Saturday a week ago even. And I'm like still thinking about that fucking hornet. God damn it. You know? Wearing yellow today in respect. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I oh, mean well. it's okay, yeah. It's probably, probably something you wouldn't give a shit about at some stage of your life too, maybe. I don't know. I always kind of cared about that kind of stuff in in one way, but Sometimes I remember I ended up at one stage. I had I wrote an email to Brad Warner about it because like because I was getting really into the, the Zen stuff and there was a mouse in the house and I sent him like uh, what do we do here? What's the solution here? Because I can't have him in the house, you know, and uh, and I don't want to kill him. Uh, and uh, he didn't reply to me for about three months and he, he came back as well. A bit late now, <laughs> but, <laughs> but uh, it was a suggestion. It's like you know the it's, it's the the hard and fast rules of Buddhism and all that is that you know it's like just but. It, do it in the moment you know you have to make the decision what's best for it you know treat it more as guidelines I suppose which is uh, kind of a fucking answer is that it's a Brad Warner answer um, <laughs> uh, but I mean strictly like, just don't kill it let it do it, do its thing as well you know that's, that's uh, you what can't have you can't but you can't, you can't you can't have mice in your house no. but, uh, so I did kill it so <laughs> that's the end of that, that, that's where it does end happy for the mouse but uh yeah, it's the same as like when the rat came into the house and was in the, the, the wee man's bedroom. You can't have that. You can't. Like, you can be as much as you go, oh, this is the rat's house as much as it's my house. No, it's not. No, it's not. It's get definitely it. is not. Yeah, no, no, no. No, you have to get them out. Yeah. You know? And if you could, if I could, like, get it out and grab them or whatever and throw them away, I'd do that. But I can't. And I have used the humane traps and stuff different times. But I don't know. I don't know what the answer to that is. And I, 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 it's sometimes part of, it's like the bag of a giddy thing. Sometimes, you know, Sometimes you're on the battlefield and you're a soldier. That's just the way it is. You know, that's that's it. That's what that's what's going on. And what can you do? Um The Aether stuff. You finished them when when January, is that? Is that I, I was going because kind of oh, yeah. I, I didn't get the chance the, to listen to it, but I, yeah, yeah, January. Yeah, yeah, January, yeah, yeah. 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 Um I didn't get a chance to listen to it, but uh, stand up again. <sighs> You're looking well, <laughs> looking taller. Um, it's the um, the last. Uh, did you feel? Uh, d- d- definitely felt there was a bigger momentum coming up for the last couple of months. That you know, when once I got into the last five, I was going all right. There, there's there's something, mm-hmm. you know, there's something going to yeah, happen here. Yeah. Um, 
and then it was like it was the, the first time my recording didn't work was on on like the fourth one or something. It just didn't record, and I was like, well, that that's you know standard practice. But I added thirty of them. That there was only one hiccup, but I still managed to go write it down straight away. So I still have a record of it. And then the second last one for me was it was essentially I I ended up at a train station that I had a dream years and years ago, and I've talked about it before uh, where I tried to meet Ganesha. Mm-hmm. And in the lucid yeah, dream, yeah, he was the other, he was the other end and I couldn't get through because of so many people. And it was later, I goes, oh, this is hilarious because I was trying to remove, uh, the remover of obstacles and he was, uh, those obstacles in his way. Incidentally, it's today's Ganesha's um, yeah. feast day. Happy birthday, Ganesha. And, uh, but so I ended up at the train station only, it's the exact same <clears> train station only he was waiting for me this time on, on the seat and he was like, had a suit on and he was, he was, had a, like a, he was like a businessman, but he's he so gentle and nice and he can, he's such a fucking cool dude really nice energy but he just see it was a bit like um so the whole thing was a journey a train journey through the the, the land or whatever and it was just like he came and just sat with me through it just to keep me company it wasn't he wasn't involved at it wasn't whatever because there's other stuff going on um, and then at the very end it was just like the train stopped I got and the thing opened and that was the end of it I was like oh right I was like oh shit what, what's that mean you've arrived at number one and so I was kind of anticipating going into the the you know the the very last one. Last one was freaky, man. It really fucking. I, was, I did it Sunday night, um, and I was just here, like in the thing. And but it was like, I must go through it again because I, I haven't listened to it since. Um, but it was like that. There's a point in it where I was in it's outside this building, and it was like a wall, kind of as if you were in a bank, and it was steps up. It feel like that, like an official building kind of thing, and there was walls in front of me but an entrance like where a gate should be but there was no gate and then there was all these people come in wall wearing black but they've literally come into the room as well like it was so freaky like it like just the the most um heightened sense of the felt presence I've ever had in my life it was like as if they were right here like to the point at the end the very end of it it was like take your mask off and I was going there's definitely people in the room like this is <laughs> this this is how it ends it's with 40 <laughs> demons <laughs> in the room but it wasn't but even when I took the, the, the face mask off it felt like there was people here you know the, and then the, the turn around and the, the, the moved away that was fucking freaky there was a guy in it there was a character in it called the Marquis and he was giving me cards he was throwing them on the ground and I could, you could see exactly like it was one of them was the ten of diamonds and like, I mean there was no question like it was, that was really highly intense visuals and stuff um, so that's, that's, and have you looked up like correspondences and all what's the ten I, I, of diamonds I, I, and, well ten of diamonds is the same, well it's just ten, ten of coins or ten of pentacles like it's the, the completion of the of the thing but there was other ones but then it was like the ten of of uh, diamonds but then it pulled away as if it had been two cards stuck together that was a false card and it was the death card underneath it uh, you know, it's like, you know, as if you're peeling a sticker off like a book. Something just the dropped there. The debt card. The debt? Your yeah, yeah. your forty servants card? Okay, no, no, yeah, no, yeah. no. The debt, no, the debt from the, 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 the tarot. Okay. Um, uh, you know, the skull, the, the, the side and all that kind of stuff. So it's as if saying that the, the, whatever, something that is presenting itself as the ten of diamonds is really the debt card. But there was right. other cards. I, have, I haven't I have had a chance to just go in and, but there was loads of kind of symbolism and <clears> stuff <throat> in it. Um, so the diamonds there, is what? You said so, coins? So that, yeah, coins, coins. Coins are, are pentacles, it's the same thing. So that's like tar- connected with your, your, your Mercury guy thing? Well, it, it depends. It, it, coins and pentacles are usually associated with earth, which is money. But you could, there's a case to be made that air is more... Mm-hmm. Okay. But anyway, it, it, it's more representative. But anyway, it's, it's, if you have 10 coins, then there's something to do with having some sort of wealth anyway. Like that's the kind of thing. If you've one coin, you don't have many much money or you don't have much. Mm. But something that appears to have great value, which would be the ten of coins or the ten of diamonds, is actually something that is the debt card, which is train you know, change, transition. Sometimes that. Well, how, so what, what, what's the difference between death and the tower? Because if it was a tower, then you say, okay, it's a money thing, it's going to be a good change or a bad change, but what's the death? Um, well, t- I suppose the can, can the, death be interpreted the same way as the tower? Like it, it's a change. Well, the, or but the tower is like like some things of are, are going wrong. Something is you know something drastic, bad necessarily has happened in that. You know, it's like um, yeah, like is, a sickness. Is the, the, you know, or something. Isn't like that. it the same as the, the depleted in that? Like it's bad now, but like this means a change. Oh, could lead. Yeah, could could lead to it. Yeah, but sometimes it, it's it, you know nuclear war too. You know where it's just shit <laughs> <laughs> or whatever. You know. Yeah. yeah. But uh, in the same way that sometimes death actually does mean death, and it doesn't just mean an end yeah. of a period or mm-hmm. something like that. Um, 
but yeah, I mean, there would definitely be crossover between the tower uh, and the dead, depending on what, what what your what your reading is. But given that it wasn't the tower and it was dead, it, would, it, it more represents because it's the ten of diamonds, right? Which is the completion. It's the ten. It's the thing, and then it's what's actually was revealed is that it's not. It's the it's the death of something. It's the mm. end of something. So it's, it's you know what what you think is the oh, <laughs> because we're talking about the very last eater, right? So what you think is the end isn't. It's the, the change, the end. It's the death of something. It's the beginning yeah, yeah, of something yeah, yeah. else. There you That's are. interesting. Yeah, we got there in the end. Well, I'll, I'll have to. There was other ones as well. Those the the, the days of spades got pulled out at one point. Do you think they were worth doing? Um, because hmm. I don't. I don't know. Uh, I mean, from right now, definitely during the first half of it, and for most of the second half, of it, I was just doing it because I was told to do it. And yeah, yeah, I, I won yeah. and um I said but you know, like kind of what you were saying, like why not just finish it? Like, you know, it's gonna take ten minutes a day or whatever it is. You know, it's not mm-hmm. it's not a tremendous amount of it's going right, just finish it. So then it, it's more to take it off the box rather than expect anything. Right, I did that. Yeah, exactly, no, yeah. no, no, we can't that can't be an excuse why something didn't it's, happen. It's, I did it's it. Doing, yeah. It's doing your fucking maths homework. That's yeah, all yeah, it is. Exactly yeah. like that. But then there was, you know, Bits and pieces, like there was a continuum trends in it. There was a whole thing where a lot of it, no matter where, it was to do this arc movement, which is very strange. That kept happening an awful lot, and there's a couple of other things um, that I don't know. I mean, I mean, I don't mm. t- right now. If I was to make a thing right now, I'd say there's something, there was something in it that I don't know what it is right now, and th- the reason why you won't know that until the end is because. I've tried to explain, <clears throat> I know I'm all over the place and, and I'm sorry for waffling here, but uh, when we were doing it the first time, I was trying to explain that there was a fakeness to it or there was a kind of as if you were going through the motions or whatever. And I, I couldn't really get the grasp of it, but I think what the best way I can describe it is, you know, if you were going into a shop and you were, uh, it was like a clothes shop and there's a guy helping you and he's going to show you trousers and going to show you shirts or whatever it is. And he knows and you know that you're not actually going to buy anything. But he still goes through the, the whole process. But <laughs> at the back, he knows this, <laughs> yeah. this. Yeah. And I know, everyone knows, but we're going to play at this game. Yeah. Of, of That's what it felt like. That's what it was like, as if, right, let's pretend this is what we're doing. You know, yeah. here's the door, here's uh, eight, eight or 14, yeah, yeah, yeah. whatever. This is, so, how I, this is how I used to buy laptops. I would go into the <laughs> electronic shop, I would talk to the computer guy, he would tell me what I need, and then I would buy it for way cheaper on the internet. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah that's how everyone knew that's what was happening. <laughs> you know, uh-huh. that, that was the thing. But uh, then towards the end, the last five of them felt there was a, there was a different quality to it, which yeah, yeah. I don't think I had would have got had I not done... 25 previous I don't think you just uh-huh. jumped the, I don't think it's something special about number 5, five four, three, two, one. it's other than you've done 25 yeah, yeah 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 I don't you've cleared out all the shit or whatever yeah. so that you can get to the the last yeah. 5 yeah. yeah my experience is that like I got I got some incredible insights from it and incredible stuff that I've learned from it which is slightly different than insights but um, oh hold on before the, you, explain explain why they're, they're different then um, well, the in, so the insight would would be like understanding why something is the way it is, but then the learning of it is just be, just getting some. It is rather getting getting new information rather. Right. You know? Okay. Yeah. So the first one is like you, you know something already, but you, you you only know it on a surface level. But now you know it. Yeah, but now you know yeah. it. You know. <clears throat> But yeah, no, I agree with you on, on the last, on the last, um, I don't know if it's the last five for me, but the last three anyway, were very incredibly metaphysical for me. Like really like mind-blowingly, mind-blowing stuff where you were just shown like, yeah, this is what it is. This is how it's made. This is what it's made of. This is the fucking eternal fucking truth kind of stuff, you know? Mm. And, uh, but then, you know, you still have to walk away from it and you know, go and put on the fish fingers for the kids. Like, there's no, like, yeah. A lot of my problem with a lot of spirituality stuff and magic stuff is that people just get too caught up into it. And like, I've had this vision. This is real, and this will apply to everyone. Follow my teaching. Yeah. And no, I I will die on that hill saying, I think you should follow nobody's teaching, except the ones that you except the. Except the knowledge that you find along the way, mm. you know. 
So much so, I can tell you this. Um, my last one was very Plato's Cave, very Magia, more or less exactly yeah. what, what Alan, Alan Chapman teaches. And uh, I said that to a couple of people to listen and I says, yeah, look, just be warned. You can hear my disappointment in this. You know, yeah, like, you yeah, can yeah. hear me being absolutely disappointed that Chapman is right. But even though I'm a member of the uh-huh. of, of his branch of the AA and stuff, it's still that that thing of... Um, it's the Carl Jung thing of that. <laughs> at the at the end of Carl Jung's uh, grandfather had had a school where he taught uh, disabled and uh, handicapped kids, and towards the end of Carl Jung's life, he was so pissed off with his kind of students that he was like, "I've ended up the same as my grandfather. I have a school full of retards." Yeah. You know, it's not, not a nice thing to say in, in this day and age, but probably not nice to say back then as well. But what what he was getting at was that like you can't follow my path. If you follow my path, you're doing it wrong because that's mine. It's my individual thing. You have to find, you have to find and follow your own. So when I had my Plato's Cave thing, I was like, hmm. It didn't really sit well with me because I was just kind of going, nah, that's someone else's. This mm-hmm. is Plato's Cave already. This has been done. This is Chapman's thing as well. This has been done. This, 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 I, this it didn't sit well with me that it's for me. But, and the other thing that I took away from it was the, the stuff that I've written about before on the blog about the passive and active quality, yin and yang, all that stuff. Uh-huh. And I'm still balls deep in that. Like, it, I, I think that very much that is the way of the universe. There's just this two things always happening. There's there's what is and what isn't. And there's one coming in and one coming out. And it's just this cosmic fucking twirling and dancing all the time of it. And that's it. It's it's actually actually that fucking simple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, there's none yeah. of the highfalutin stuff. I got down some books to sell yesterday. I'm getting rid of like Anton I have on Kabbal- Kabbalah and a lot of the Western magic and stuff because I'm just like, oh, I don't need this. It's grand. Like, it's just it's whatever. I have books here I haven't even fucking read. And I'm just like, yeah, I don't need that. I don't need that. I'll sell that, you know, sell it for a five or less than it is on eBay or whatever. But like, yeah, yeah. just to get rid of it because it's just, it's just clutter. It's taking up space and it's just, and it's not like, oh, because of the aethers, I know the secrets of the universe or blah, blah, blah. That, that's bollocks. It's that. I think when you do these things, you're going to be shown something or or you're going to experience something. How have to put this. Let's say if, if two people go into a lecture on quantum physics, you know, and, 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 and as good as the lecturer is, or the professor giving the lecture is that like the two people are going to come out of it with different understanding with a different understanding of it just because they're two different individuals and they have different levels of education or different life experiences or whatever so I think that like me doing the Aethers when I did them I came away with stuff from it that was at the level I'm at or was mm. at whereas like if I did them now again I'd probably get more stuff yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. And if I did them in a year, I get more stuff again. But it's kind of like, but at the same time, I wouldn't really make it. I wouldn't really recommend people to do them because it's just like, how many is it? 30, 10 minutes a day. Ah, it's a it's a fucking time sink. And I don't know if there's much that you that probably if you just meditated and did the jhanas, mm. or did any sort of get, just journeying at all, you'd probably get yeah. the same mm. thing kind of stuff, you know. I, I, yeah, I will, if people are going to do them, my my experience, I would say, is don't expect that everyone's going to be a winner and reveal something to you. That some of it might just be clearing, yeah. preparation, getting you ready to visualize, you know, getting into the zone, having a pattern, having a routine, yeah. all of that. And uh, some of them are frustrating as fuck, just annoying because it's like yeah. I know this stuff already. Come on, let's do it. Let's go. Let's go. As well, yeah. as well, a big difference I found in them is that when I started doing a proper. Proper kind of banishing at the start of them. I found them much working much better as well, yeah. you know. But I just do my own thing. I don't do any LPB, blah, 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 BMW, whatever, Star Sapphire. <laughs> the the, the ritual of the BMW. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I, like there, was, there was always a point in every nearly every single one of them that I did where it felt there was like something happened where I went, ah, this is just bullshit. This is wrong. <laughs> what am I doing here? Every time. And I was like, ah. As if it was like, there was an expectation of revelation of this is going to be, um, this is it, we're doing it. Yeah, oh, we're yeah, doing it. And then yeah, it was yeah. like, ah, uh, yeah, this is just 
bullshit. I don't know. <laughs> you know, but not, not not in that I would stop, but it was just like, oh, well, well I'm not, you know, yeah. no one's coming out and giving me you the know, I'm, fucking I'm, secret I'm not convinced here. that there ever is a, a this is it thing. Even though I've had mm. what I'm saying to you, the last two or three where I get, get the, where I see these metaphysical things and all that, I don't think there is a, so when you get into looking for enlightenment and all this stuff, like you're convinced that there is going to be a moment when everything will change, you know. Mm. And but it's not it's not the stream entry stuff. That's that's different. That's that's like that's like I think you put it well. You were talking about that's like getting signed when you're in a band. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you know, yeah. like you've struggled up to get si- get signed, and th- you think that's it. It's like, no, that's only the fuck. That's only the beginning of it. You know. Yeah. Yeah. So for me, that's what stream entry is. Whereas, like the f- awakening kind of thing is that everything will change after this, and I'll be whatever Gandhi, Buddha, Vivekananda, whatever. You know, but, <laughs> let's not be Gandhi. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, no, no, be Gandhi, Gandhi, Gandhi <laughs> sleeping with little boys and stuff, wasn't he? Yeah. Um, Let his wife die. Whatever, it doesn't wouldn't, matter. Wouldn't give him medicine. Um, you know these whoever yeah. honchos and sages and whatever, but. Um, no, no. it's still kind of like just don't let it get in the way of your actual real fucking life do you know it's far more yeah. important to 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 you know go for a walk cut the grass fucking make your kid a, a yeah. hot I, chocolate I think or something with an awful lot of the, the, the stuff the, like the Buddha stuff and you know the non-dual stuff and all that and I'm you know as I do trying to tear it apart and go what is it that annoys me about it even though it's clearly Right, <laughs> right, but there's something, and it's that it's what I found is that it's missing the point. In in for me, only tough for me. Ever, that like everyone's, you know, literally my UPG, and um, that it's reductionist. It's like it's too reductionist, and in being in re- reductionist, it, you're still getting to the inherent qualities of things. It's still it's like looking at a song and going, well. There's no actual song. What it is is a series of notes and rhythms that are put together and for all the notes are frequencies and vibrations at a certain level. And if you bring it down, there's not actually anything happening. And you've missed the total point of it. It's a fucking song. Yeah, and I, yeah, 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 yeah. And that's my problem with non-duality and Buddhism. Yeah. To a certain sense, it's like, yes, all of that is true, but it's it's totally true. You've missed the point, though. Mm-hmm. For me, or, or my understanding of it, when I looked at it, I missed the point through that lens, whatever it's thing. It's like going, yeah, all of that, there's no self and all that, but that thing that we're calling, this thing that's happening is what's important, you know, and it's, mm-hmm. it's kind of, it's that old thing and people talk about it, but you know, like it's trying to explain a radio program by looking at the constituent parts of a radio and the mm-hmm. diode and the knob and you go, yeah, but that's not, that's not it. That's not it. It's true. You yeah, can, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, it's absolutely true. That's what the radio is. Yeah. That's what the song well, I was, is. Yeah. I was talking about last time, wasn't it? Was talking, I was talking with you, wasn't it? Oh, oh, Nietzsche's Amor Fati, yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah that's. I think that was the, the his his way to solve that riddle. You know that there is okay. So okay, there is nothing. That's fine. That's cool. But at the same time, we're still here experiencing experiencing yeah. it. So we should accept it with you know providence and grace because it's fucking pretty cool being alive. Like when you. Well, that's that, that was. That was my obsession with the the um, directionality that annoyed everyone. But it is the, because it's the reductionist of that way. It's looking at the radio as parts that aren't, or the song, and forgetting the song. The, which yeah, 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 the yeah, song's yeah, the yeah. best. That's the important yeah. bit, not the other stuff, which is exactly. cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, no, 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 yeah. I agree with you. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. the same. That's that's why that's a, it's a it's a problem. Same problem I had with Buddhism as well. Buddhism as well. Like, and I like ninety nine percent of Buddhism except for this thing that like it's just like. Just trying to say that fucking nothing matters, man. But they they would they will say no, everything matters. Yeah, but but most of your teachings don't yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> don't yeah. say that. Do you know, whereas that like say Taoism is that like no fucking everything matters. Mm. Do you know, and the importance is like get your energy in check first, then get your head, and then it's fucking it's plain sailing. You know, whereas that the Buddhism Buddhism is no, it's all it's all in your head, and I don't. I it's like Buddhism it is, is like because because, <clears throat> because there, there is there is an outer world around us anyway. Whether it's all an illusion or not doesn't doesn't matter mm. because it's still there. That it's still I mean? yeah, it's and still anyway, yeah. And and we can't be above the illusion if we can't. Maybe we can get glimpses of it through meditation or through taking <laughs> massive doses of magic mushrooms or LSD or whatever, and we might get glimpses of it. But 
in our normal day to day life that we have to live and try to be good people, we can't we can't mm. live outside the illusion. So we co- we got to work with it. It's the tools we have. You know? Yeah, and I think the emphasis on escaping it or getting off the wheels of samsara or you know dispelling the illusion or awakening all that is again is also missing the point. In that this yeah, is the but, thing. But, but the thing is as well is that like you are going to escape it. Because you're going to die. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, like you are going yeah. to die. So, like, mm-hmm. you know, you don't have to worry about escaping it because mm-hmm. that's going to happen anyway. You're, you're, you're dead soon, very soon. <laughs> yeah, you know? yeah. So, wow. and the butter say you come back. <laughs> Do all this yet again. But it's, yeah. it's that. So it's I me. Mean, <clears throat> I think <clears throat> not COVID. <laughs> Remember when we have to, used to have to say that. Um, it's like. Th- I don't fundamentally disagree with it, with an awful lot of stuff, but it's just also not for me in the sense that it's just where its emphasis is laying. I goes, yeah, I, th- I think it's true. I think if you, like say for instance, if you can decide that the thing that you have is the thing that gives you happiness, you can be happy. And I goes, yeah, that is very true. There's nothing that could be disputed of that. It's yeah. also not very helpful, <laughs> not very <laughs> practical I, and for a, a, a large number of things, you know, and and... I think an awful lot of the stuff in spirituality is the kind of the dark side of the Buddhist stuff. My understanding of someone was giving out to me recently saying I don't understand Buddhism. I'm not claiming I understand Buddhism. I'm talking about my my um, my read of it or my experience of it. So it's Tommy's Buddhism, UPG. Um, the dark side of that is escapism. It's wanting to escape and not deal with your life. And the dark side of say the magic stuff is the like the the. The new age visualization, new thoughts stuff. Where you're also trying to escape your life by wanting something else. You know that that it's like escaping life entirely, wanting my life to be completely different, mm-hmm. and it's both mm-hmm. avoiding the Christ- actual fucking thing. The same, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all. It's like my yeah. reward is in heaven. The, yeah. the real earth is over there. Everything's an illusion. All that. It's all polar opposites of exactly the same problem. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, which is why I can't, I've said to you before. It's like why, why I even though it's kind of shunned or put down why I really like the idea of witchcraft and Wicca and all of this kind of stuff. It's because, no, it's about being here. It's about being very much so So is Taoism. It's about this place, this r- r- right here, yeah, you know, yeah. and, and, mm. and I think, I mean, and that's not to say that there isn't you know, a darkness in Taoism or Taoism or the, that uh, it's it's a, a, a ladder between D and T, isn't it? It's how it's yeah, really pronounced. Right, yeah. um, or there isn't, you know, Benefits to be got in Stoicism or Buddhism or, you know, the law of attraction. I have certainly had it appear to work for me many times. I'm not saying, or I don't think you shouldn't have whatever you want. I think you should. I think desire could equally be seen as a positive force as, as well as a, a negative force. Something to get rid of. It's also the, the, the creative pulse, it's the creative spark. It's the it's that thing that is keeping us going. All of these things. But I don't know. It's like what you were saying is I think if you if you decide that you know the answer, I think you're also missing the point. <laughs> it's a flux. It's a, it's a constant thing. It's not it's not something that I think <clears> as you, you were saying that comes to an end where you go, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's it. I have it. Yeah, because like, the thing is that like, OK, like let's say like you knew like the final answer of human, the human metaphysical universe. OK. Mm hmm. But then, like you're 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 at the you're okay. So I have full knowledge of the cosmos, and, and not, I'm not saying you have full knowledge of everything, but you have full knowledge of ex- ex- our existence. of what you of what you can know. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. Full, no, but like like you don't know how to build a bridge, but like you know like <laughs> where we come from and right. You know, yeah, what, that old thing of Je- Jesus wouldn't know how to use a computer. So yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, That's yeah, what I mean, yeah. right? But like you know all the cosmological kind of stuff. But the thing is, is that like okay, so you're at the end of that thing, but then like you know. You're still a human. <laughs> mm. It's like it's like if a fish learns what water is, they're like, ah, holy shit. We're surrounded by this stuff when we breathe it all the time. This is amazing. <laughs> ah, I have no legs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, so yeah. like you might you you might know everything, but you're not transcending like you can't transcend it and be a god because you're in the you're in the body. Yeah. Do you yeah. know? Like you might know everything, you might be full on non dual all the time but you're still a human you know and you still have to do human things you're still, still going to have to wipe your arse today <laughs> true you know? story possibly someone else's <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, yeah 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 you know like you know c- come down a bit you know yeah, yeah. come down a bit that's that's yeah, yeah. And, and here being the important thing even if it is a case of that you're trying to um, bring spirituality down it's still it's all of, it's about and it's about manifesting it. I know that word means something very different in a lot of circles, but it's about having it 
ground it here. You know, it's like bringing, well, that's that Richard Rohr thing, saying life is all about doing the things that, in the light that you only ever did in the dark. You know, but bringing the spiritual stuff down to here and have it actually play it here. And, yeah, and theosophy as well is, is great in the sense that all of the stuff can only happen here. Doesn't that, it can't happen when you die or when you're in spirit mm-hmm. or whatever. It can yeah, only sense, happen yeah. here. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, what what are we doing here? <laughs> you know, it's it's and you know it's like or that meme as well. It always goes around. Always makes me laugh. It's you know the, the guy passing the notes uh, to the to the guy in front from the, the at school. Did you ever see that meme and it changes? Yeah, and it's yeah, like yeah. And someone passing it and it's uh, it's the universe passing it to the guy in front because be comfortable but not knowing. <laughs> you know? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Come on, let's let's do these questions. Oh yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Are we doing a Braxis? This is one that we we vaguely did. Yeah, we missed the Braxis and we missed yeah. the Arthur and some other ones as well, didn't we? Um, I have three. I thought we, we, we you pick it some of that. that um, we'll do a Braxis one at the end because because uh, <laughs> that that'll be fun. Brian, chaos magic, and as far as I understand it, shifts paradigms insofar as it's useful. Does this make its relationship to historical and paradigm-focused magic haphazard, or can one do an extended deep dive within the par- parameters of the chaos uh, approach? Is chaos magic irrelevant to tradition, or is it just a healthy sense of humour about any one true way? Um, in chaos magic, the paradigm shifting is that when you do it, you absolutely believe it, and it's not that you're pretending to do it; that you're you know you totally install yourself in whatever it is you're doing. It's like if you're paradigm shifting into someone who loves country music for whatever reason, um, you actually have to love country music and you have to be in it. So in regard to it's not it's not a haphazard approach to tradition. It's that if you are going to have a chaos magic, do you think Telema, Telema is going to help you in some way? You become a Telemite for that period of time. Absolutely. And so it is the truth. That's the idea. So I think it's more of the deep dive within the... Uh, the thing than something haphazard. It's strictly speaking, that's what it is. But the other part of the case magic is that you know the land that do as you please, and uh, you know take bits from this, bit from that, which I think is kind of not exactly the intended use, but can also work on the condition that it, whatever you do, is it actually working, or are you just doing the things you like? You know that kind of stuff. You any thoughts? Do you care? Hey, <laughs> I have nothing to add, I agree. Yeah, yeah. no, you're, you're, I mean, there's, yeah, yeah. no, I, I can't put any better than that, so. Okay. If you're going to do it that way, you have to go. You have to do it. You have to You have to believe in what, you, what you're doing, you know. From a case because magic point of view. Because, 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 well, my, my way of thinking is that if you don't believe that you're doing it, then there's no way that your will mm. is going to believe that you're doing it either. Because if you're just doing it for shits and giggles, then your your will is like, fuck this shit. Yeah, <laughs> you know, I, I, I have, I have other people to be looking after here. And this <laughs> yeah. fucking, this idiot's wanking over sigils. Come on. Yeah, yeah. You know? It's like it's the difference between actually doing it and larping, and you know, actually doing. There you it. go. That's yeah. that's like, um, okay. <laughs> Case magic news. Um, so you do those quick book reviews. I do, but they're all good books. <laughs> Would love to hear about the last awful one you or Spud read. What's oh, the last? No. I'll tell you about the rant. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh I, I, I'm about to hear a rant. <laughs> you know the one I'm thinking of already. <laughs> I'm not sure I do. Go, do I'll, I'll probably know it as soon as you say it. What is it? Uh, I don't like giving out about this man because I like this man. Alan Greenfield. Oh, His right. Yeah, book, yeah, 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 yeah. His new book, Secrets of the Black Lodge Exposed, is uh, very badly written, full of grammar mistakes, full of spelling mistakes, Full of syntax mistakes, full of uh, uh, there's there's a the use of this terrible font that can't be explained <laughs> when he has uh, quotes. Uh, there are no footnotes. Uh, there is very there is just no evidence for anything he says other than hearsay. I feel bad about it because he seems like a genuinely nice man, and I've had interactions with him on the internet. Not that I know him or anything, but yeah. he seems like a nice fella. My first kind of coming across him was in Hellier and I read The Secret Cipher, the UFO Arts. I really enjoyed it because it just opened this kind of um, new possibility to this way of thinking. Do you know, that like that, 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 that there is this, you know, the, 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 um, 
what they call it, uh, Crowley's Book of the Law, and there's a cipher in it, and all these people have spent time looking at it, and then, like, you know, he posited this stuff about um, Philip K. Dick as well, which you can spend just an awful long time looking into into PKD stuff and finding stuff. Uh, but this, this, um, oh, it's, it's, it's bad. You were saying that even know? words crossed out, like spellings or something. Or, and, and yeah, there's literally words crossed out where like the proofreader or the, where the second person, because there's two writers of it, it's him and, and someone else, the name I forget, where he has, where Greenfield has obviously crossed out a line and put the word that should be there after it. And that that's in it a couple of times. And, and it wasn't replaced. Like you see this strike through and it's like, it just take, yeah, it's just, and then there's like, I think there's two essays in it. One of them is a theosophy essay from Madame Blavatsky. It's like, why are you using that? Right, okay. Like what? Just use your own stuff. What the fuck? Like, you know? Re- relevant to Black Lodge or just some, some mad filler thing? Like. No, of course it's relevant yeah. to it, but it's it's kind of like what the Black and White Lodge is. But instead, look, like if you're going to write an article, you just collect all this proof, all this evidence, and you put it out in your own words. You don't just take a fucking 150 year old or whatever, 120, 130, 40 years old piece of mm. writing that someone else wrote in their English of the time and then put it in your book. And sell yeah. it, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's just bad form, mm-hmm. you know. That's probably like free, I, uh, available on the internet anyway. So, yeah, I saw a review of this by someone that we know, and I just yeah. I read his review and I'm like, what fucking book did you read? Yeah, how, how amazing the book is, and how brilliantly put together and all the information. Actually, yeah, I read that review. Well. Like the, the only thing, the only thing I can think of is that I got a, a dummy, I got a bad version of the book because I read another review as well. Sorry, I listened to an interview. Sorry, and uh, they were saying how great it was, and it's like it's it's not. It's just it's it's there's no there's just and the the, the maddest thing about the book is that this the, the 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 main evidence that this black lodge exists comes from uh, Crowley's fiction book Moon, Moonchild. Moonchild, yeah. Where that like so Crowley writes these things that the characters in the black lodge would have done. Fiction, okay. Mm. <laughs> a lot of Crowley's works fiction, anyway, but this is definitely fiction. <laughs> yeah, you know, and this is he, under the title fiction. Yeah, you know? he la- he labelled this one fiction, yeah, himself. And uh, and then like throughout the book, he uses these other things that happened, Jack Parsons or other fucking telemites, and uh, he's like, this is exactly the same thing that happened in Moonshine. Moonshine's a fucking work of fiction, dude. You can't base. Can't is he even just, like is he acknowledging that it's fiction and saying no, it's not really fiction that it's a, it's a true story? No, no, no. he he, think, he thinks it's fiction based on 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 reality, on truth, but 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 doesn't say how Crowley knew all this stuff about the Black Lodge. Do you know? It's that like Crowley thought he knew this stuff about the Black Lodge, uh-huh. and it's like I thought it was going to be this uh, kind of kind of an expose leading back to like say, the Middle Ages or before of like where it started and the kind of process of it of where it is now. But it's not. It's right. basically, basically telling me. <laughs> I, th- I think your review, uh, that the one that uh, you actually, I think it was Jason you sent it to, it was, uh, um, yeah, return to get your money back. That's, mm. <laughs> that's a great review. Yeah, I was looking forward I to that. I was really disappointed because mm. I think he's a cool guy and, 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 and you know, no one likes... I don't like shitting on things. I mean, I don't. I take no enjoyment mm. through this at all. Other than maybe it'll save people a few quid and just they'll not buy in it. You know, it's... Yeah. Sorry. You know. It's fair. I mean, I think it's fair. I think, you know, mm. like, I, the reason why I suppose I don't do reviews is is, equally, is that, like, I don't want to be shitting on people, but also, like, you know, who cares what I think too about it? You know, it's something bad. At least if it's something that, you know, this is good, yeah, I think you might get something out of it. There's a bit of value, but it's like, there is something to be said about, you know, maybe don't read this book too. Like it's just, there's, but there's, it makes me feel bad. It's, it's mostly why I don't do it, rather than I don't think everything is, uh, is good. Mm. You know. Yeah, like I mean, the the, the way you do it is is better because you're, cause you're like, or or the way that um, what's his name? Oh, Blue Eyes, the way he that he talks about his books in his videos oh, is great. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because he'll say, 
you know, these are the books I've read on this topic. And from here, then I can, from this book, yeah, this person says that, uh, like that, that's the best way to honor these types of books. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. But then like when you have a book that says, you know, Secrets of the Black Lodge Exposed. And, and exposes and nothing. They, yeah. It doesn't do that. Then like, yeah, okay. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Right. Uh, I don't have one I can think of off the hand. There was one, remember that book we got uh, called Ma- Pop Magic? Um, they said the it was guy off. who was like, I, uh, I yeah. was a nobody and now I had a martini yeah. with Paris Hilton. Yeah, and it keeps guy. name dropping Marilyn Manson before. Marilyn uh, Manson, yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah, that one, I thought, thought that was terrible. And he, he clearly, he allegedly um, mm. buys reviews because All right. <laughs> you get the way he's getting the reviews. See, the thing is as well, I mean, I, I, don't, I don't buy many bad books because I, sp- I spend quite a time with a book before I even buy a book. Yeah, yeah. You know? So, yeah. And I usually, like, I'll download the Kindle sample before, I, you know, I go, am I, you know, if this sounds good, I'll read the first chapter, whatever it is, and then I buy it. So it's it's unlikely for me to buy a book that, I, you know, that I won't like. Like, there's some, mm-hmm. some books, like the, the one, let me see, there's a book, this one, Buddhist Magic. Very good book. I just didn't like it because it was, I was, I thought it was something else. I thought it was going to be a book teaching me Buddhist magic, but it's a book about a book about Buddhist magic and its thing. You know, it's, right. you know, and which is if, if, if I, you know, that's grand. Yeah, <laughs> it's yeah, just, yeah. just not what I was looking for, you know, so it's yeah. like, so there's things there's like another, that. Like there was, there was another fellow, I know a lot, a lot of people like Aidan Wachter and I have one of his books and I really, didn't, really didn't enjoy it as well. But that's because it's just, it's not, it's not what I mean to. Yeah, that's yeah, why yeah, I didn't yeah, like yeah. it. Yeah. You know, it's well written. It's just a lovely font. Actually, yeah, 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 yeah. It is actually a genuinely really nice. It's written in a, and, yeah, a and he's, a, he's a lovely guy. Yeah, like I mean, it's, yeah, it's just, it seems it's like just, I've yeah. listened to a good few interviews. And it seems a, a lovely chap knows his stuff. But the reason I didn't like it was because it's not what I'm into. Yeah, it's like me trying to review. Uh, I don't know the autobiography of Diego Maradona. It's not into mm-hmm. it. I'm sure, it's brilliant. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, or whatever. Um, right. Uh, did you find anyone that we do a practice? Uh, Just make up a question. Where's Arthur's question? Wondering what you thought about the idea of signal to noise ratio in magical communication. Ah, this is it, yeah. Could the physical means of manifesting a com- communication and the unconscious influence of the medium or, ch- or channel mean the delivered message isn't a 100% source? If so, what do you think the implication, dangers, benefits of this might be? I would say that is definitely the case. Um that I think all stuff is filtered through the person that's coming through, including the person listening <laughs> to it as well. Um, yeah, this is why um, I, I, I picked up uh, Crowley's Aether's book and thought it was just a big steam and pile of shite. You know. <laughs> Speaking of books, I did like. Vision and Voice. <laughs> <laughs> started the ball roll in here now. Well, I, I don't count PDFs as books because it's just like, there's just... Well, it is, it is a, well it's, a, it's in um, the Equinox. Right. Voice. I'm sure it is. A, it is a, as its a, as its own book. No, because because when I was reading, it was like, well, this is all filtered through his obsession with Egyptian stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah. you know, there's a lot of that, and and and, and, and so it's like, yeah, no, this this won't apply to me at all. I'm not because I, 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 yeah, I, that's that's things to have you read other people's data. No, because it doesn't apply to me at all. I mean, there might be some interesting things. I remember looking once or twice at Jason's ones or Duncan's one, and I go, oh, that's interesting. There's Bought a circle in it, <laughs> it like, but it's all my imagery. It's all my things. You know what mm, I mean? Even, yeah. even even coming down to the end bits is for is for me. Um, but like, say going to the um, the Estes stuff. Or St- How do you pronounce that? Estes, Estes, Des, the Des stuff. Like say Estes, the, Estes. Just that will not sit in my brain ever. Um, Gloria Estefan. Uh, it's. it's I'd say an awful lot of that is like, um, with regard to like Jason doing it, there's an awful lot of Jason in there. But I mean, the reason why Jason is so good at it is because Jason's involved in it. You know what I mean? It's like, it's part of, that's part of the process, the channeling, the medium thing that's going on. Um, I'm sure if you listen to a recording of what Jason's hearing, everyone would have a different sense of what was being said. But I think it's like, you know, like if you had the actual noise stuff in his head. um, Mm, You reckon, yeah? But he's not just repeating... Have you done it before? Because I've done it with you. Yeah, remember? Yeah, no, I, I see. I haven't. I haven't done it. I, I just, yeah. I just repeat the words I hear. That's all. Yeah, but I'm, I, I'm saying that I, I'm sure that I would hear other words. 
you know, not every single word, but I'm sure, you know, it's like that one that's in the UT or UHD, the Tetral Hunt, where it's like it says the one or the swan or something, you know, like uh-huh. these yeah. things like that. Sorry, I understand yeah. you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get you. Yeah. Yeah. And equally, I was just saying, I think that the listeners involved, because I think it, the, it could be the one for you and it could be the swan for me or the other mm. way around. It's whatever it's resonating. It's the, the ripple out. But of course, then, as you were saying, the, the, the downside is that, you know, you make everything Egyptian or everything Telemite or everything, you know, whatever. You know, whatever, ever the thing. Like, but I don't think it's like, it, it comes down to this. Like, is there an actual capital T truth that we're all looking here? Or are we looking for experiencing and, you know, the ripples in the water, the things that are coming out? What What's the end goal? Is it possible to know the truth entirely? Mm. Is the being that's telling it even known the, the, the whole truth entirely? Yeah, or is it? Or so is, is it okay to lie in order to get the person to where they want to be? Like if Black said something that isn't true, but it got me to see something in the way that I needed to see, is that dishonest? Is that disingenuous? Oh, what's that know. called? Even the Buddhist came up with a name for that, didn't they? It's like oh, did why, why the why the why the Buddha lied to some people. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> yeah, there is something, and it's the reason why these gurus will give you can, two people can ask the same question and he'll give different answers to different people. Yeah. You no. Know? Yeah, because the guru is supposed to know where you are on the path, so he's the and he gives you the answer that'll gotcha. whatever put you back on it or or make you see what you're not seeing or whatever. But you know that's you you have to hand over uh, autonomy. You have to you have to trust <laughs> you have to trust that that your guru isn't going to you know fuck you over or has your best interest at heart. You know. Which they're, but they're supposed to obviously but, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Um, the reality might be different. yeah but at the same time I think that like anytime I've tried to do these things on my own um, I would trust them less so I think it is good to do them with other people mm. uh, I'd have to do but it. also but also you know being aware of that do you know like it, it is going to be there is going to be there is going to be a bit of a filter there, even even if they are trying to be as, as objective as possible. You know, there, it is still going to come true. You know, yeah. Also, if so, what do you think the implications are? I don't know. Um, yeah, yeah. Just 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 being aware of it. That's all. Just the implications, dangers, benefits. Just just being aware of it and and to try and be as yeah. When if you're in on the receiving end of it, just take it as what it is. Then look into it. And so well, there's a thing though is that like, you know, don't you don't have to look into it too much. Don't become mm. obsessive about it because you have to realise as well that like say like for example, our workings with black and that, it's that like it is the thing that happened at that time. Okay? Mm-hmm. Cool. A week later, mightn't really be all that valid anymore. Yeah, yeah, stuff yeah, yeah. Might, stuff or, might have changed in your life, you know. Yeah. You might have you might have been in a car crash and life yeah, is yeah. very, very different now. And that stuff doesn't apply. Do you know? Because he didn't tell you <laughs> that was gonna happen. Yeah, yeah. Um but um there's there's just a thing of remembering that it is what it is it is what it it is what it was at the time and let it be like that. Okay. But you know, you can still refer back to it and and, and try and you know, peel back the layers and, and, and see what you find. But, you know, there's a thin line between becoming too fucking obsessed with it and yeah. always kind of finding meaning and always finding this, that and the other in it when, you know, you, like I said, you know, you still got to put on the fish fingers for the young lads. Make sure they're... Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's, it's kind of like, like there is the thing, it's like doing a divination is by doing the divination and saying that, you know, you're going to you know get the job. Does that then you know, make you get the job in one sense, you know, it becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy. Or if, mm-hmm. you know, if you hear, oh, someone's going to betray you. So then you, you start making sure that, you know, you're hyper aware of betrayal and so it doesn't happen. But it wouldn't have happened without the divination. So the divination is correct. It's just wrong be- because of the, the ripples out of it or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, makes sense, yeah. And um, I suppose then that the thing of uh, the interpretation of it and stuff is... Um, Oh, I was going to say it's, it's like I was saying that like like when you think of a magical working or yeah. one of these clairvoyant things or whatever it's that like to remember that to remember that as as an event between the three or four people involved that's what it was you yeah, know it's yeah, like, yeah. kind of like like 
it's like when you go to a concert. Enjoy the concert when you're at the concert. You can think back about the concert a week later, but you're not at the concert again. Yes, yeah, yeah, so yeah. You, yeah, you yeah, can't yeah. relive it, you know? Yeah. I suppose there's also the thing that we're certainly guilty of is if a god tells you his name, that's his name. Don't try and turn him into something else. You know, if someone says something to you, anything, that, you know, don't try to make it something else. May, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. If, if it's yeah. the, you know, what is the answer to this? And the answer is seven plus nine. That's the answer. It's not, oh, could he mean stars or bananas or something? No, the answer is seven plus nine. You just don't understand. Mm-hmm. Or what was the, 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 the your vision where the God told you his name and then we spent a week trying to work out what his yeah, name was? Yeah, last, last, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Fucking Egypt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so we've uh, about two minutes left. So the unbinding, yeah, did you enjoy it? <laughs> the unbinding. Uh, yeah, for the most part it did, but it's kind of like... Uh, I was saying earlier with surface level. On the surface level, I enjoyed it, but the more I look into it and question it the more I found kind of stuff to um, it kind of gave me well okay in a good way I came away with it with more questions than answers yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know uh-huh. but 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 at the same time I don't think it um, I don't think it was made with that <laughs> intention no uh-huh. you know so um, yeah yeah it was, it was just um uh, but just like the stuff I said on the Discord, it's kind of like you know, like, like like especially when they, especially when they brought this statue into a house and freaky stuff started happening, and instead of like getting out a camera and documenting it, they didn't. Yeah, that's just so fucking weird for me. Or the original guy mm-hmm. in Reddit having you know no pictures of water footprints and hmm. all that. I can let them off with it. I can let them off with it because they they. They're not paranormal people. They're just ordinary dudes. They might know, but, just but if think you're of it. making a documentary, could you not like go back and talk to them and ask them a bit more? It seems to be like that there was no communication. Well, yeah, you could ask. Did, did, did you take any mm. photos? Like they didn't. Yeah, we don't know that. Mm. And then there's the and then you know these are paranormal people who go into places with cameras and recording equipment. Yet yet didn't it or did didn't record the freaky stuff that happened in their house. They just did these reconstructions, and then. Then the other thing that I didn't like about it was that they knew where this thing was from. They went to the community. They saw that it was an Orthodox uh, Ukrainian community, but just chose to not interview anyone there about anything. Yeah. And that's a massive... I think that was a massive oversight. But this... this, this I, I've, I've told you this before and, 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 and people as well. That's the problem with Hellier is that it's it's not... It looks your man who makes the film, Carl Carl Pfeffer, is fucking incredibly talented. He makes mm-hmm. really, really good stuff. But he's not a director. Mm. He's a producer, you know? He's a great cameraman. He's a yeah. great editor. Cinematographer. Great they, great at they, colour correction. Yeah. <laughs> he is. He's really good at it. Yeah. And if they if they had a professional uh director who is used to making uh films, then there would have been far less uh, oversights on things like that, Do you know. Yeah. I think I think I think it does suffer from style over substance. Um, it's definitely the best YouTube documentary on the paranormal, but it's 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 like the best of that tier rather than you know like an actual. Yeah, you're not going to see it on. Well, no, that's not true. You're not going to see it on Netflix because Netflix mm. put out an awful lot of shit. Yeah. You know. I enjoyed it. Yeah. I was entertained, but it just it it felt like. There was a conversation happening at some point because, right, we're obviously not going to get Helly or Tree yet for whatever. We better do a documentary. Have you anything that we could maybe wangle into a, a documentary? Oh, I remember mm-hmm. that thing with the nails in it, right? And then it was kind of felt very um, contrived out of that. Like, the, let's make something out of this. And, like, even down to, and I know this is not fair, but it, it, it's like, it, it was, Greg's answers are very rehearsed, very written. You know, it's, it's, it's like, if it's going to be an interview, that's fine. But if it's going to be, you know, it, that, which is fine, but it just took me out of it, you know. And then, then the, the the making, the, the refilming of the scenes that happened, whatever it was, five or six years ago, with, you know, clearly older people with dyed hair. Um, <laughs> just again, took, it just took me out of it. I know that's 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 very uh, picking the thing, but it's like, it was like if this was, if there was 20 episodes or 10 episodes of uh, season, The Unbinding season one, 
this felt like, you know, episode four where it was just right. Let, let, there's two good ones at the beginning and, and two good ones at the end that we're going to get to, you know, but this is just something that we're, that's mm. interesting enough to fill out an episode, but isn't a, an entire thing. Um, Duncan, to give, read Duncan's post from this morning. To give, did you get a chance to see that? He, he talked mm. about the unbinding. He's saying that, yeah, it's an interesting, that he's talking about the uh, Estes method best where they're saying, you know, they're trying to do the 3D printing uh, of them or the, the scan and it keeps going, stop doing that. Please stop doing that. And it's like, um, they're more kind of impressed with, how this, you know, the timing of the um, synchronicity of them talking that this is like a real conversation rather than, you know, actually just stop doing that because if you're trying to help this goddess or whatever it is to think it is, what you're actually doing in that point is you are hurting it and continuing, but you're too yeah, impressed well, with yourself. Hmm. I think my take on that is that they weren't listening to her, they were listening to, or they were, they. I think they thought that that was the... The bad guy. Yeah. Yeah. Who was saying, Just don't do that. And they're like, no, no, we want to do this because we want to help her get out. Get out, yeah. No, I mean that's 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 another thing. It's just the kind of like you know yourself when you watch these things, you're kind of like, yeah, I wouldn't have made it that way. Like I would have, like, like for me, for me, the, the big the big question of it is that why was this thing cursed? Mm-hmm. Yeah, why? So like that's that would have been my thing. That I would have been driving into that. Why was this statue cursed? You know, and I would have been. That's why I would have been trying to interview just the local people and or maybe trying to get a priest or a monk or even or even like an exorcist to talk about his theory on why something mm. like that would happen. Because I think it's just something as simple like, OK, some there's a religious fundamentalist. He saw this old Slavic thing and he said, no, 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 you're not having that in my my place. Yeah. So he did this very, very strange thing of putting a noose and some some nails into it rather than just, just a normal person would just fuck it in the bin and say yeah, yeah, yeah. get out of here but doing this thing but I think finding out the why of why it happened that's um, or maybe yeah, it, 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 it's stuff from that they, they couldn't and that, that it just wasn't a thing you know like it, it almost nearly changed the mind on who it is at the end as well you know when they're kind of googling years later and they go oh that's the feast day of whatever and it's like going the swamp you know, lady, yeah. Yeah, and then it was like it was Baba Yaga for a while, which is just is the equivalent of like leprechauns and from Irish. Ah, the Baba, Baba Yaga's bullshit. Yeah. It's just fucking it's the boogie. Like that's that's what my that's what my mother in law says to the kids. Baba Yaga's gonna get you, it's the boogie yeah, man. Yeah. That's all it is. It's nonsense. Yeah. Um you know, like she's she's just not taken seriously. It's not like she's not like I don't know, what's a Celtic it's not like Bridget or fucking Danu or any of those. It's just yeah, Baba yeah. Yaga, it's the boogie man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Not even like a banshee or something like it's. it's no, yeah. no, 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 no. Um, I yeah, why didn't it just get back onto Reddit and ask the guy where exactly did you find us so we can put it right back where it was? You know things like that. I'm sure there's a reason, but it's not mentioned in it, or at least I can't remember it being mentioned in it. That it just kind of there was a as if they could have interviewed people or could have got more dug into it a bit more, and it didn't. It seems kind of superficial or something. Mm-hmm. But I but also thing, enjoyed this, it though. This like, it's, yeah, this is what I'm telling you. They, they, they. I think if if they had a a proper professional uh, director helping them, it would really up their game because you know they know their stuff and they're really talented and mm-hmm. they're. Oh, I think they'd be great. I think they'd be fucking great with a proper crew. You know. Yeah. Have you ever seen them on uh, the Kindred Spirits? That would I assume have a proper director and such. You know what? I'll mm-hmm. have to admit, I don't watch any of their other stuff because they wreck yeah. my head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But, uh, Every, everything's an upsell, so it yeah, is, yeah, and I don't yeah. like I don't like that. Everything's an upsell with them. Oh, join our Patreon, do this or blah blah blah. Mm. blah, blah. It's like no, I have no interest in that. I've I've an interest in your thoughts and stuff, but I've no interest in um in um in um your weekly Twitch streams. Well, no, it's not even that. It's an it's, a, it's an actual um TV you know, a real TV programme that the guest on every now and again. All oh, right. Yeah, so that's what's in the way. It would have a proper crew director and stuff like that. So it'd be interesting to see what you make, if it uh, makes any difference to it. What do you make of it? Because you have seen it. Um, I like Kindred Spirits. I think it's one of the better ones that's done uh, t- uh, of those kind of ghost hunt ones where they, they, they do all the stuff that you're talking about. There is a, a bit more of a, a sense of... Um, you know, a narrative or a reason or whatever. I mean, it's still, it's still at the end of the day, you're still going, yeah, I don't believe it. But, uh, 
Yeah, I'll, maybe. Okay, look, yeah, look, I know as well. Like this comes from my bias as well. I mean, fucking hell, I'm a journalist. So mm. for me, investigation is important with things like this. You know. Yeah. So I know that that that's going to color my experience of it. Because like, I mean, I'm, I'm watching something and I'm like, why are you doing it that way? Do do it this way. Yeah. You know. All uh, my negatives uh, and all about it. I was quite happy. Like, I, I think I got value for myself and Quaid, whatever it was. And I would love if there was an, uh, another 10 of them. You know what I mean? I r- really would. And I'd love if season three of Hellier came out. And I, I, I like, I bought it the day it came out. So obviously, I care enough about mm-hmm. it. And I, mm-hmm. I don't feel let down by it or anything. It's just like, going, I, I, would, I wish there was no, better, no, 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 better, no. The better stuff. You know, I just, yeah, I, no. like, yeah, I could sit on watch it. Like, yeah. you watch it because, because, um, because you come away with it with all these questions. Mm-hmm. You're like, going, wow, you know. Because um, yeah, but for me, there's for me the, the the riddle is never answered. Why did it happen? You know? Yeah, at all, uh, at all, and yeah, or uh, it's the riddle of what even not, it, what like even it, it is. Isn't like it's a mad good. thing because like you can't you, like you can't help but believe that's true. Do you know, because there's too many there's too many weird things that happen connected with this little statue, and it's like fucking hell. Like okay, like if you choose to believe this is the real thing, then there's a uh, this baddie, this 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 Slavic statue represents this goddess, but then there's this like horrible other thing in it, which is crushing its spirit and making bad things happen wherever this statue is. That's crazy. Mm. Like it's crazy, and there's lots of. I was going to say there's lots of document documented evidence that stuff happened. There isn't any documented evidence that it happens. There is only we have to go on the word of the people involved, of yeah, all the yeah, people yeah. involved. Yeah. But there's too many people involved for us yeah, not to yeah, believe yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. Do you know? So for me, it's that like, okay, cool, that's awesome. Now let's find out as much as we can about this because it's very much centered on who the female uh, goddess that's represented as the statue is. But there's nothing about who the baddie is. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's right, yeah. But just assumed it's just some dude, some bad guy. Yeah, yeah like, yeah. well, no, I mean, like, it's kind of like, hmm. Do you know, if if you were to go into a house and to do an exorcism, not that I'm experiencing this at all, <laughs> but it's from, from, from going on, listening to people who do this and reading about people who do this. You know, your first job is to find out who you're dealing with. Mm. What's its name? <laughs> yeah, like yeah, yeah. It. And so, and so they they look at the superficial thing, the mm. s- the statue that's in front of them, but they don't look for the thing that's controlling them. You know, because maybe if they had just taken off the noose and taken out the eyes, or sorry, take, taken out the eyes, taken the nails the out nails. the eyes, maybe that would have released it, and maybe yeah. it would have had, would have had a beneficial. Um, yeah. A presence or, or, or could have done fucking miracles. <laughs> we have yeah, no yeah, 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 yeah. So for for me, they they, they just looked at the wrong thing. Yeah, mm. I'm gonna, I'll have to watch it again. I'll I'll, I'll, I'll leave it a while. Um, mm. Let it settle. I'd love to watch Hellier again. I I just I'd love if there was more of that stuff. You know, of that quality or that level or or, or above it. Yeah, yeah. Because um, we've watched some desperate. Ghost hunting stuff <laughs> over the years. Yeah. Jesus, oh, man. yeah, Hellier is brilliant. Yeah, yeah. yeah Hellier is great, great crack. Yeah. Even yeah. with all the complaints about it, like you know, correct complaints about it, and all, all the different uh-huh. things, so it'll be, it'll be. Yeah. I do want season three. I really do. I would. Like, I think part of my not enjoying the unbinding as much as I could have enjoyed it is that what I want is season three of Hellier. That's you know that's and it's close, but uh, that's yeah. But yeah, it's still still watch it. It's still, it's totally worth it. And support it and all those things. It's totally worth it. If you want this type of stuff, you know, whatever it is, it's on yeah, Prime. Yeah, definitely, definitely, Prime. definitely watch it. Like, it's better than, it's, it's, it's better than, no, watch it. Watch it because it's, it'll, you, you'll come with your, with your own questions and thoughts on it. And, and the uh, S stuff in it is brilliant. It's really good. Yeah, the S stuff is good, yeah. yeah. Not yeah. as good as uh, Archangel Michael from season two of uh, Hellier. That, that's really good with Tyler. Really gets uh-huh. into cap, which is instead come back to what Arthur was saying. There, there's thing where definitely there's a there's a filter coming through, or there's someone like he almost nearly gets possessed at, at that point. Anyway, we could talk for hours as we normally would. Uh, anything else it's you would long, like? To, uh, anything you'd like to to finish? Well, <laughs> there's a number of gaps in the middle that may or may not uh, survive the final cut. Um, uh, yeah, no, 
Not really. Well, we've done two in this month, so that means we have six months off. <laughs> <laughs> and so, see you next year. <laughs> Happy Christmas. Happy Halloween. Oh, we'll have to do a Halloween, ha- Halloween one anyway, so. We'll, uh, Jesus, Halloween's not far away. September, yeah. yeah. So we'll oh, get, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. Before we go, thanks everyone for the birthday stuff. Birthday wishes. It was very nice. Of you. It was, nice. I was, I was well impressed with you. So thanks. And uh, very nice of you. Bye. Bye. Bye.